welcome to Prof. In Casa. My name is Annette Boza Menezes, and today we're going to study how to accept or refuse goods and services. Nowadays, people are always buying things or asking for help. We live in a society where we require help from others. We are constantly buying goods or asking for services. So, it is very important that you know what to say when you want to accept or refuse a service. Keep in mind that if you're offering a service, you should be very efficient, respectful, and polite. Accepting or declining politely may depend on the situation. You can be formal or informal. Until we know someone well, language should remain formal. When declining an offer or request, it is always more polite to give a short, simple reason. Let's see some examples. Hey man. Hi buddy. Are you free this afternoon? What about going skating? No, I'm not. I'm finally asking Daniela out today. But thanks anyway. Really? Good luck. See you later then. When a friend invites you to go out, you can use different expressions, like this ones. Are you free this afternoon? How about going skating? You can refuse the invitation. No, I'm not, but thanks anyway. Or accept it in an informal way. Yes, I am. Wow, you look good. Where are you going? Thanks, Mom. I want to go to the movies with Daniela. Can I go? Sure, I don't mind if you do, but don't come back late. Great. Do you need any money? No thanks, it's alright. Okay, bye. Bye. Those were examples about asking for permission. To a question like, can I go? You can have two possible answers. A positive one, sure, I don't mind if you do or a negative one. I'm sorry, but you can't. Hi, what a surprise! Hello, Daniela. I was wondering if you're free today. Maybe we can go to the movies or something. Sure, I'd love to. Let's meet today at 2 at the bus stop near my house. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Um, would you like something to eat before we go to the movies? Yes, that would be very nice. Okay, see you. All right, bye. We have just seen a way to accept an invitation. Let's review. I was wondering if you're free today. Maybe we could go to the movies or something. A way of accepting. Sure, I'd love to. A way of refusing. That's very kind of you, but no thank you. Excuse me. Oh, it's you, Derek. Oh, please, man, are you following me? <laughs> no, I'm not. And do you know how we can get to the mall? Where are you going? We are going to the movies. Oh, and this is Daniela. Sounds like fun. Nice to meet you. Well, you should take Moravia's bus. So, the mall is next to the bank. It's also across from 15th Street, behind the church. It's between the bank and the veterinary clinic, and in front of the pedestrian crossing. The bus stop is on the second avenue, next to the bank. All right. I'm going that way if you need more directions. Thanks a lot. Anytime. Well, I have to go now. I have something to do. Are you okay now? Sure, no problem. Thanks a lot. End time. Bye. Let's remember some of the prepositions used in this situation. The bus stop is on 2nd Avenue, next to the bank. The mall 
is next to the bell. It's also across 15th Street behind the church. It's between the bank and the veterinary clinic in front of the pedestrian crossing. Welcome to Tradition Restaurant. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. Daniela, what would you like to have? I'd like lemon tea, please. And snapple juice for me, please. Sure. Are you ready to order? Um, yes. I'd like to have the chicken lasagna. And I'd like the spaghetti, please. All right. I'll be right back. Thank you. Anything else I can help you with? Can I get you some dessert? No, thank you. I'm fine. I would like to have the bill, please. I'll be glad to help you with that. One moment, please. It was delicious. Thank you. Don't mention it. Since you paid for lunch, I'll pay for the popcorn. But first, can we go to the clothing store? I have to buy a birthday present for my sister. Of course. When you're at the restaurant, you can use different expressions for requesting your order. Some of the expressions we used were What would you like to drink? I'd like some lemon tea, please. What would you like to have? Some apple juice for me, please. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like the chicken lasagna. Anything else I can help you with? Can I get you some dessert? No, thank you. I'm fine. I'd like to have the bill, please. I'll be glad to help you with that. Hello, can I help you? We're just looking right now, thank you. Everything in the store is on sale today. If I can be of any help, let me know. Really? Those shirts too? Can I see them? Sure, no problem. Oh, I love this one. But this other one, I don't know about the color. I prefer the blue one. Can I try this one on? Certainly. Follow me to the dressing room. Most people like to go shopping. We observe some of the ways for asking or offering a service. Let's check some of them. Can I help you? We're just looking right now, thank you. If I can be of any help, just let me know. Can I see those sweaters? Sure, no problem. Oh no, it's too big. Do you have a smaller one? I'm afraid not. This is the last one. Can I get you anything else? No, but thanks for offering. It's time. We should go to the movies. Can I try on this one? Certainly. Oh no, it's too big. Do you have a smaller one? I'm afraid not. Can I get you anything else? No, but thank you for offering. Let's make a short review. Models require the simple form of the verb. The sentence structure is subject, model verb, another verb in the base form, and complement. Some examples are, I would like another dress. I may buy another pair of shoes. In case the statement is a question, the structure is model verb, subject, verb, and complement. Some examples would be, can I try on another dress? Would you like something to eat before we go to the movies? It was a pleasure teaching you how to accept or refuse goods and services. Hope you enjoyed it too. Remember to visit more videos of Profane Casa. See you next time.